I'm Dean Safola and this is the Azure Academy. Today we're continuing with our connectivity options and we're going to start looking at a virtual network gateway. So here we are back in the Azure portal and a virtual network gateway is something that's used by an express route or a site-to-site -site VPN or a point-to-site -site VPN. It is the object that we use to connect all of these different on-prem connectivities to Azure. So to build one, we go to add and we go to virtual network gateway. Virtual network gateway, we create and let's give it a name. We'll say VNet gateway. And notice there are two types. There are the express route and the VPN, which would cover point to site VPN and site to site VPN. So for the moment, I'm going to choose express route. And notice our options change a little bit. So then we have our SKUs. Now the SKU of the VPN uh, VNet gateway, I should say, is uh, for express route is a high ultra or standard. So standard, of course, is the slowest of the gateways. Ultra performance is where you're going to be able to take advantage of that maximum currently 10 gig throughput. So and of course, the cost goes up as you pick a higher SKU. So for the moment, I'm going to leave it on standard. So then what you do is you select which virtual network you want to connect to. And this is limited by your region that your uh, your gateway is in. And so I will pick my VNet for the Azure Academy. And then you can choose to either create a new public IP address or use an existing public IP address. And then you select uh, your uh, subscription and what region you're located in. You hit create. So I'm not going to complete this right now because I want to look at our other option, which was the VPN options. And there we have routing and policy based option. And as you can tell here, the point to site is something that's usually related to policy and route based is related to site to site VPN. And you can also have a uh, site to site route based VPN along with an express route. So that's kind of a, a backup option for your express route. You can fall back on a site to site VPN if you want to. So I'm going to leave this at route based because of how we're going to do our connectivity. And then we have our SKUs. So the SKUs are named basic VNet uh, VPN gateway one, two and three. And the higher you go, the higher the SKU. The SKU means higher performance, higher bandwidth and of course, higher cost. So for the moment, I'm just going to select uh, VPN gateway one. And then we have this option for enable active active mode. Now, when we provision a virtual network gateway, what we do is we actually provision two virtual machines in the back end. And it's uh, fronted by one object called the virtual network gateway. And this functions basically kind of like a, a Windows routing remote access server. If you just think of it that way, it's not exactly that. Um, but it, it's two VMs. Now, they're in active passive mode. So if you enable them in active active mode by checking this box, then you're going to have more cost related to your VPN because you're having more compute at once. Benefit is you get higher bandwidth, higher throughput, you get high availability. So right now I'm going to leave that off because I don't need those options. And then I select my virtual network. And again, the VNet for the Virtual Academy, public IP address, which is either a new or an existing. So I'm going to use a new one. And this is the VNet gateway public IP. And we can leave this as dynamic. That's fine. And then you can enable BGP. So BGP is a routing protocol which uh, uses community tags to do a little, uh, make things easier for you in, in routing. You don't have to know all the IPs and, and BGP is also a learning uh, protocol. So it can figure out the best routes for you. So I'm not going to enable that right now. And then you choose your subscription and your location and we hit create. Now, because we're provisioning a VM here, this is going to take uh, some time. Um, it could take uh, anywhere from a few minutes up to 20 minutes because we're provisioning the VMs themselves and then we're configuring them to be virtual network gateways. So what I'm going to do is just a little cleanup here because I don't need this express route. And 
a resource that you provision costs money and I don't need it, so I'm going to delete that. And uh, we'll come back in our next video. And in our next video, we're going to set up a point to site VPN. And then after that, we will set up a site to site VPN. So we'll see you next time.